Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 56 Sports Talk with Tony and Ken is back. All right, uh, we got the the newly released AP Top 25 NCAA football rankings in. Of course, at number one is Alabama. What you think about that, Ken? Well, I ain't going to lie. They, 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 <laughs> they, they, they right for me, so huh? they Bama, man. Uh, yeah, until somebody dethroned. I mean, well, you know, Georgia felt a little disrespected. Uh, at, at the initial polls, they were ranked number three, but they, they put a whooping on Oregon uh, this, this past Saturday. Yeah. So now Georgia is number two. Well, what I don't like, I think whoever won the championship last year. They should year. be number one. That's what yeah, you feel like. Yeah. Well, I mean. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. They took the crown. I can agree with that. Yeah. Every time Bama, I but, mean, it ain't often that Bama lost the championship. Even when they they did that with Clemson, they put Bama right back at number yeah, one. Yeah, but I can't. You can't. It's like they ain't know. nobody proving us wrong. Like proving us, you know, proving us right because they well, Bama you know, don't play a lot of ranked yeah, opponents. Yeah, either, actually, the, the team they beat Utah State is actually a very very talented team. But you know, when it comes to Bama, it's Bama. Georgia and everybody else is kind of high, like, uh, you know. The, the. So Georgia number two, uh, Ohio State number three, man. They got the top three right. Yeah, they got, they the got top, top three, three right. right. I can do with the top. And uh, three. I, I like, I like what I saw from Ohio State uh, this past Saturday against Notre Dame. I also liked what I saw from Notre Dame, to be honest. Yeah, I did too, but yeah, Ohio State don't really look as exciting as they used to be, though. Because no, 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 that's no, that was Notre Dame's defense. Yeah. If you can hold Ohio State to twenty one points, I got to give you your card. Okay. But I, what I did like about Ohio State is their defense is very, very much improved. They only allowed ten points. Yeah. And Notre Dame, Notre Dame can score. No, they can. They, they can, can score. Okay, we got Michigan at number four. We'll see how long that lasts. We'll see if Michigan can, you know. Hardball, they, they, put, a, they put a fire up on the hardball. They say, you about to lose your job, and they've been rolling there since. Man. Yep, true, true. You are, you're absolutely <laughs> right. Clemson came in at number five. They uh they destroyed Georgia Tech on Monday night. Really, the, the second half, they, they took off. I'm going to be honest. I think they bag up quarterback is better than they starting quarterback. I think I, I – look. I didn't get a chance to I'm going to go on record and say – I'm gonna go on record. Like the under uh the the start I don't know how to say his name. Yeah, under Cougar gay something I, I, like yeah, that. Yeah, number five. But yeah, yeah. yeah but he's okay. He's alright. But I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they put that bag up in the oh, mid yeah. season. You know one thing about uh uh, uh old Dabo man, he always got something up his sleeve. Then he just yeah. got that extension. Shout out, congratulations to Dabo Swinney, man. Much deserved on that. Uh, we got Texas A and M coming in at number six. That's good. That sound yeah. about right. They would, they've been being consistent. Yeah. They've been consistent. They got, they got, they have got to beat, they have got to smash Appalachian State this Saturday. They will. Shit, Appalachian State took uh, North Carolina to the wire. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know it's just North Carolina now, but that's a good football team. Yeah, but but A and M, man, they've been rolling else. these past couple they, they, years. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. They got the monsters. They've been rolling. Them, man. I like that quarterback. Come they got on, too, man. man. Jumbo now. Uh, they got. Boomer sooner, they got Oklahoma in at number seven. You know what I'm saying? Put some respect on that. I think they, I think they only did that because Lincoln Riley ain't there no more, so they ain't put him as high as they usually would have. Yeah, 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 man. He, he, he you do got to make the coach earn but, it, but, though. But the, the coach that we have, Brent Venables, defensive mastermind. Yeah, that's but why, it still got to be proven, though. I, I don't put nothing past him. He, but, oh, he proved it in Clemson. Yeah, but we had a, di- we, we, we had a different squad, though. He, he, like I told you. You, you, you once, see, once, once we get in the conference play, they go yeah. to play in the Baylors and the Oklahoma yeah. State. But yeah, even that, it, it's just, is, which, oh, I'm going to that Texas and OU game, man. Yeah. The state fair, man, I got to hit that son of a gun. Man, man. I'm going to be right with you, dude. I'm going to be crazy. Right nine, man. Yes, sir. I'm going to be with you. Yeah, so but first see, weekend, this, October. This, this is the thing, though. This is the thing. Uh-huh. He was a different, was a mastermind in Clemson, yeah. but he wasn't a head coach. Remember what we told you? Sometimes ah, they change your positions can hurt right. you. It can hurt you. So, right. so you so still got to prove that he can be. Wait a, and see, huh? Yeah, we just got to wait and see. As far as the head coach position that. wise, that's all. Right. I'm not. I'm not doubting his coaching ability. Well, Jay, we just but you're in a new position, so we got new stats. That's true, all I'm true, saying. True. True. Uh, at number eight, we got Notre Dame. Uh, I, they fell three spots after losing to a uh, close one to Ohio State. Uh, I don't I'm, think they should have failed at all because that was another I, ranked honestly, opponent. Honestly, I feel like they probably could have failed at least to like six or seven. I yeah. I wouldn't have put them down as eight. That's but another ranked this opponent. This is the AP top twenty-five yeah. though. Uh, at number nine, we got Baylor. Baylor, Baylor's. Uh, uh, they look Baylor's like they getting back to this. Yeah, yeah. They, they look like get back to the margin three days, man. They just might, bro. I don't put it past them. And number ten, we got USC. Now, I am. 
I got a vested interest in USC because they took a lot of OU's players with them when Lincoln Riley left. Yeah. Caleb Williams left. They're, they're, they're running back. Uh, uh, you know, Lincoln is a players coach, man, so they're going to follow. True, and I, follow. I'm not mad at it. I was, I was for a couple of months, but, you know, hey. It's cool. Lincoln served the OU community, man. You got to give him something. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. I, I appreciate that. He gave he y'all two Heisman back to back. Something had never been done. Thank you. He did do that. You sure <laughs> right, man. So shout out to USC for coming in at number 10. Uh, they they played Rice. So we're not going to put too much on, on what they did, you know. So uh, we, we'll see what they do in the upcoming weeks and when they get into uh, conference play. Uh, Oklahoma State came in at number 11. They some dogs, too. They are some dogs, too. Mike mm-hmm. Gundy is always going to keep a good squad over nah, there. Nah, cool. Yes, sir. Florida. Florida was unranked. But they beat the number seven ranked Utah Utes in a thriller. A thriller. I'm talking about a Florida thriller. Florida going to be ranked before it. For, for, they going to they nah, nah, they, they, put they, some they, respect on Florida. Oh, yeah, before nah, I, I put a bunch of respect on Florida. Yeah, I love that quarterback. For them to beat. Oh, yes, sir. That quarterback. No Damn, man, no fear. Then yeah. he wearing that 15 like Tebow. Yeah. Man, no fear. So I, uh, I, 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 I could respect them. I move, ain't going to I could see them in the playoffs this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Especially if they beat Georgia and beat Bama. It's a lock. Mm-hmm. It's a lock. Uh, that, like I said, man, that last second interception in the end zone, like because that Denver and Utah was going back and forth. And I told y'all last week. That was going to be the game of the week. But, and you know what? We had a few candidates for game of the week. Man, that Miami, I know it wasn't rain, but that Wyoming and Tulsa game oh, I told yeah, you about, I, man. Oh, man, it was choo, 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 yeah. back and forth with it, yes, man. Sir. At number 13, we got the team that Florida defeated on Saturday night, Utah, the Utah Utes. Uh, they ain't going nowhere. Nah, they ain't going nowhere. I'm looking. Hey, a lot of these 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 unranked small teams are coming up, yeah, man. It's, it's going to be down to Utah and uh. No, uh, USC when it comes to that uh that Pac-12 over there, yeah. if you ask me. At 14, we got Michigan State. Uh, we know the defense is always stiff over there, so we, we just got to see what they what they continue to do. Yeah. Uh, number 15, we got Miami. They putting some respect on Miami. You know, uh, we, we'll see we'll see what comes of that. We'll see what comes of that. I didn't really get a chance to see them play. I'll make sure to catch them this weekend. Uh, at number 16, Arkansas. Now, them in Cincinnati had a back and forth. Hell of a, hell of a, actually, they were up 14 to nothing in the halftime. And the second half, Cincinnati walked that down, and, and they was going back and forth. Okay. Great game. Great game. So, shout out to Arkansas uh, making the uh, number 16. Number 17, we got Pittsburgh. They had a barn burner with West Virginia last Thursday night. Yeah. I'm talking about, they t- tore that motherfucker down, man. They won 38-31. Uh, to 31. And okay, uh, West okay. Virginia was right there with their ass, man. Pittsburgh just made a couple of more plays. Uh, 18, we got uh, North Carolina State. Now, they had a dog fight with East Carolina. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's every year. Yes, sir. That's every yeah, year, you they know. They had a dog fight with East Carolina, man. That is every year. Because, you know, they 85 miles away from each other. Exactly, so, that's, so that's, 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 that's with the town with every time. Yes, man. indeed. And number 19, we had Wisconsin come in. Uh, so, we, we, like I say, we ain't seen too much from them yet, so we ain't going. Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of time Wisconsin, they riding out their name. Though, like, yes, man. exactly, exactly. At 20, we got Kentucky. Now I, I like Kentucky. They've been they've been solid the last couple of years. They've been like, solid. Yeah. They've been solid. Hey, they've hey, they hey, been a ten know, win you know, team. You know who yeah. their coach is, huh? Nah, nah, nah don't talk Mike, to him. Mike Stoops, man, old ball brother, man, old you, man, yeah. old you product. Nah. That's the old you product. They went over there, man. Go. Kentucky, hey, say, man, you know, I gotta put on for old you. <laughs> yeah, but Kentucky, shout out to them at number twenty. BYU is number twenty one. Uh, they put a whooping on. I believe you have a South Florida. Yeah, BYU, BYU been uh, yeah, disrespected they lately. They play man. some hard nosed SEC type football. Yeah. They, I'm talking about they, they be being disrespected. Yeah, they, they, yeah. But I, I think uh, all, all they gotta do is keep winning and they'll keep moving up, man. Because they got a tight, they got a cool little schedule. They got a cool little schedule, man. Oh, Miss, what you think? You they, think they gonna miss both? Oh, Miss, good. They got a hell of a lot of offense. Uh, the number twenty two ranking, I can agree with that for Ole Miss. Okay, I they, just got, you think I, they gonna I, miss both nights or you think? Uh, it remains to be seen. It remains to be seen. It, they it didn't look like in week one, but they didn't have much of an opponent. Uh, an opponent. So once we get in the conference play, you yeah. know, a lot of this stuff will, will really come out. Yeah. Uh, number twenty three, Wake Forest out of the ACC. They they they. 
remember they they uh they I made, ain't watch a lot on Wake. They made the Orange Bowl last year. Uh, Wake Wake is all right. I didn't actually catch him this past weekend, but Wake Wake is good. Wake is good. At number twenty four, we got Tennessee. Tennessee got some recruits that's coming out in these next couple of years. Let's go. You talk about that quarterback, huh? Yes. Yeah. Let's go put them in a different. Uh, hey, different they, 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 they say that a lot of people saying that uh, he shouldn't have came out over uh, Arch Manning, man. Well, you know, Arch Arch gonna go to Texas. Uh, yeah, well, well we talk. I'm just talking about the high school records. They got him over Arch. They got him over Arch. They do. Yeah, they do. And yeah. I, you know what? I was watching some clips of him today, and I was like, damn, this 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 this, this motherfucker got some height on him, and he could throw. I'm mm-hmm. talking about he throw that motherfucker effortless, effortlessly. Yeah, so without effort. I know. Yeah. I, I know. I messed up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and at number twenty five, we got. The U of H Krugers, man. They was in a barn burner with UTSA, man. And this ain't no discredit to uh, U of H. The UTSA is just that good, if you ask me. The U of H is equally as good, man. U of H, yeah. no, they, I, hey, shout out to you, man. Shout out to you, Third Ward. Mm-hmm. I ain't mad at you, man. Y'all keep popping y'all shit. Keep doing y'all shit, man. And uh, speaking of uh, the rankings, number one, Alabama plays Texas on Saturday. How you think that's going to turn out? You think it's going to be a blowout or a curse, nah, cu- close game? I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I think Texas is going to give them what they're looking for, man. If the Alabama do win, it's going to be by a touchdown. Okay? I know, I, I'm picking Bama to win. I got know, I, Texas. I'm an I'm Oklahoma fan. I, I don't, don't like, like Bama. I, 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 like Bama. I, 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 I got ride. Texas. I'm going with Texas, I would man. probably never ride with Texas. I'll like, ride just, with Texas, God, dog. But I feel like uh, Alabama will win a close one. So them the top twenty five teams in college football. So uh, I got a, we got a couple of uh, MLB standings and news for y'all, man. The late the Yankees are even despite uh, going through a a, 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 a a slide in August, they're still leading the AL East by five games. Okay, it's a close five, but they're leading it, man. The Cleveland Guardians lead the AL Central by two games. So y'all already know the hunt for Red October is is closing in, man. People are vouching for those la- those last wild card spots, man. Baseball is gonna be real. All I'm worried about is the Mastro, man. Oh man, okay, okay, okay. The Mastro, what we doing? The uh, okay, the Astros are uh. Let me see what the Astros got going on. They lead the AL West by uh eleven games. Oh they yeah, right. we we in they the, all right. We in the and we in the nice swim well. I got to choose. To root, I got to root for the Astros this year because I, I went to Gallery Furniture. And you know, if you go to Gallery Furniture, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm trying to double my money, man. I'm a, you know, I'm a gambling yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah you I'm will, trying man. to double my money, Jack. <laughs> Hell, he yeah. went over there going fucking with old Matches Mac over there. Huh? <laughs> yeah. The Braves and the Mets are pretty much in a tie for the uh, NL East lead, man. Yeah. I don't so, know. The Braves might pull that out. They got a little bit more stars. Yeah, because I was thinking for for a couple of months like it was the Dodgers and everybody else, but now you got them Braves and them Mets fucked up, man. Mm. They right there on that ass, man. The uh, the Cardinals lead the uh, NL Central by nine games, so that's a comfortable cool. lead. Yeah, they cool. Going into you know uh, wild card. Uh, October or whatever, but you know a lot can change in a month, so we gotta stay tapped in on that baseball. The Dodgers are leading uh, the NL West by nineteen and a half games. So they oh ain't yeah, got they about to, to take about. them a nap. They, got they about to take a nap. Oh yeah. They got that division. They ain't tripping. And shout out to Aaron Judge. He is on pace to break the home run record, man. He has hit 55 home runs this season so far, man. Okay. So shout out to Aaron Judge, man. You know what I'm saying? Doing that shit All the right, right way. AJ. I think the record is like 62. I might be mistaken. Y'all, please mistake me. Uh, please correct me if I'm mistaken. But even if it is 62, 63, 65, this man got a month to break that shit. And he, he going to be already all right. 55. Yeah. So shout out to Andrew, shout out to the New York Yankees, shout out to all the, the uh, all the uh, the division leaders in 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 baseball, man. This last month of baseball is gonna be incredible. Make sure y'all do not miss out on it, man. Make sure y'all do not miss out on week one of the NFL uh, football season. Make sure y'all do not miss game five of the WNBA finals tonight. We got some good games coming up this week on the college slate. The top mm-hmm. one, uh, of course, is Alabama and Texas. Yep. And it's at Texas. You know how I they hate get that it? they playing at 12 o'clock, though, man. That should have been under the lights right there. That should have been under the lights, for real. Yeah. No yeah. bullshit. 
man. But uh, that's all Twan the Kid got for y'all this week, uh, man. man. We'll be back in a couple of days to update y'all on, on, on week one scores from NFL. Uh, what went down this past week, this upcoming weekend in uh, college football. And we'll be back to update our uh, MLB standards. And when we do come back, there will be uh, the Las Vegas Aces will have an opponent. For the WNBA final, so we'll let y'all know who that is. So y'all make sure y'all tap in with us, man. We appreciate the love and support. Fifty Six Sports Talk with Twenty Kids signing off. Man, I'm Salute. out.